Are you ready for the Operations Challenge 2012? Why am I talking so quietly? Because behind me, some of these teams' worst nightmares actually coming true. Do you remember when you were sitting in math class in high school and said to yourself, when am I ever going to use this again in the future? That's what's going on behind me. They're actually a timed test. This is stage one of this five event pentathlon here at WEFTEC that's called the Operations Challenge. All right, Mike, if you can just tell the folks at home that aren't familiar with the Op Challenge, Ops Challenge, what are these uh, teams working on this morning? Well, right now they are working on a written test that allows them to demonstrate their knowledge of wastewater processes. We have questions that cover a whole range of different topics, everything from a collection system to a treatment plant to how to solids, handle solids disposal, safety issues. Some of them are very simple questions, then at other parts of the test have more involved questions where there's they're given an example plant and they have to calculate all sorts of treatment parameters for that plant involving several calculations. So. No, that's, that's great. And, and how long is, uh, is the, this portion of uh, the challenge? This portion of the challenge is actually relatively quick. They have 20 minutes to answer all these. Well, Donnie, tell me how the, uh, the team did in the challenge. I had mentioned earlier this might be uh, some uh, folks' uh, worst nightmare from high school coming uh, back taking these tests. How do you guys feel about it? Um, well, you, you never know. You know, it's just, uh, it's, you study as best you can. It's the four maintenance events. You know, you, you know exactly what you're going to expect. And this one here, uh, wastewater treatment is such a, a broad, you know, there's just so many different categories and stuff like that. There's just a, an infinite, infinite number of questions they could possibly ask you. So, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you feel like sometimes when you're talking to folks around town and such, they don't realize this component of your, of oh, your job? Oh, absolutely not. No, they, they really don't. Um, like, you try to explain you know, to them what, what I'm coming for or whatever. I mean, the best thing I can do is to, like, Steel Timber Sports or NAS crew pick, you know, pick crew competition meets wastewater treatment. So, so tell me, how did you guys prepare for uh, this test and how did you do today? Well, I think we did pretty good. We held our own. Uh, yeah, we prepared for a couple months out, got ready, uh, get the guys together. We practiced two, three times a week and, uh, you know, a couple hours a day. And yeah. uh, pretty much uh, that's about it. Yeah, so how, how do these guys hold up when the clock's uh, ticking? Uh, these guys have got ice running through their veins. Is these guys right? are good. Yeah, 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 they're the best in the business. Now I noticed last year in the crowd we had uh, you had some fans that were wearing uh, the devil horns. Are they going to be back this year? Uh, you never know when the devilettes will show up. Is they, that right? They, they'll usually show up on the second day of competition. So uh, we got great fan base. Uh, well, great. you know, a lot of people think you guys are coming out here va for vacation. They don't understand what's going on. Well, that's the whole thing. They don't understand what's going on. I mean, they don't understand the preparation that goes into this and the level of professionalism. Uh, you know, we're competing against the best in the whole. United States right here and Canada so I mean uh, it's just a privilege to be here. As you can see the spirits are high here Ops Challenge 2012 more to come straight ahead from WEFTEC in New Orleans.